welcome to our second lesson of crochet with Kayla. Um, today's tutorial we're going to learn how to make a washcloth that looks like this. Um, so it's really easy, it's our first project that we're doing as a full project and we're just learning how to work in rows with a single stitch. Um, you will need some cotton yarn, 100% cotton yarn if you're going to be using this as a washcloth. Scissors, a hook, I'm using an H hook, um, you can use whatever size you want, but for worsted weight I would use probably an H, and then a tapestry needle or a yarn needle, just one of these big blunt, you know, needles that you can thread yarn into. Okay, let's get started. Alright, so here we have what we worked on in our last lesson, which was uh, working on a chain and working back with a single crochet stitch. And now we're going to learn how to turn uh, and go the other direction and keep building so that you can make a washcloth is what we're going to make today. So my chain base here, I believe I changed 20. So um, it looks like a pretty good size for a washcloth to me um, if you didn't start this project with us in the last lesson. We've changed 20 and then um, worked back with 20 single crochet stitches. Now when you get to the end of that row, uh, you're just going to chain one. So um, you're not going to put your, knee, your hook into a stitch. You just wrap right around and pull through for your chain one. And then you flip your work to start working the other direction. Now to start working, um, you're not gonna, you're not going to put your hook into that first stitch where um, where the chain is coming out of. You're gonna work into the next stitch. So if you can see on the top here, it looks like little V's. So you're gonna put your hook underneath both sides of that V. And here's what it looks like from the side, here's what it looks like from the top. So you just stick it right in underneath both of those V's like that. And then you pull that through, wrap around, pull through both loops just like we learned before. Okay, and then you do the next one. You can see the next V there and you stick your hook underneath both sides of the V, pull your yarn through, uh, wrap behind, and pull through both loops. Like I said, if you're working loosely, it's much easier to see what you're doing because you can actually see the hole where the hook will go in. If, it's, if you've worked it really tight, it'll just be all bunched up together and it's really hard to figure out where to put your hook through. So then you just obviously work all the way back to the end and do the same thing. So I'm going to work all the way back to the other end and then I'll show you how to turn one more time and um, you'll just do that all the way until your washcloth is the size that you would like it to be. Okay, I did want to show you really quick kind of what the end stitch looks like because sometimes when you're beginning it's a little bit hard to see where your last stitch should be going. Um, so anyway, if I'm looking here, um, I can see on the top there's one more V there and then there's just kind of um, a piece that is going horizontally. So make sure you don't miss that miss that last stitch there. Sometimes it kind of starts drooping down and you can't... you it looks like my maybe it's part of the last row but um, anyway look for that horizontal piece and then right above it there should be another V there 
and just put your, it's a little bit tricky to get your hook in there too. It's a little bit tighter sometimes. So anyway, just get it in there and that's your last stitch on your row. Okay, so now I've got my washcloth the size that I want it. It's actually kind of a little small. I think next time I'd probably make my base chain a little bit longer. Um, but this will work. And so now you're at the end here. And I've just finished my last single crochet. And I'm just going to do one more chain. Even though I'm not going to turn again. And then I'm going to cut the yarn, which... I already did forgot to show you that but anyway cut the yarn and just pull it through and it'll make a knot on the end there that won't come out so now you're pretty much done you just have these two tails to weave in so I'll show you how I weave in my ends um, I have this big yarn needle I don't know if that's a technical term but it's just a big fat needle that you can use for yarn So, I'm going to thread that, and I'm just going to kind of go back and forth along this edge here. There's not like a super precise way to do this, but, and just pull this tail through there, and then it came out. And then you're just going to go, obviously don't go right back through the same hole, but kind of go back the same direction to lock it in place. Okay, I'm going to pull it the other way. And then I'm just going to kind of pull up on this and snip it really close to the end there and you can see a little bit of it but um, not very noticeable anyway so that hides your tail there this end I told you guys not to make too short of tail but I did it myself so anyway this is a little bit short but uh, it'll probably still work but that is why it's better to have a longer tail for the end when you're trying to weave it in. Makes it a little easier on you. So I might only be able to go that one direction with it. Um, so I'll just snip it there, which isn't ideal, but if you have a long enough tail, then just do what I did with that top tail there. And then it's done. You have a washcloth. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and just comment below and I'll answer any questions that I can via comment. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy your washcloth.